Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Godfrey Shinoa. Present on behalf of my colleague, presentation from Ahmad. Uh, so I'll be brief. Ahmad, for those who don't know, say Ahmad stand as Africa Center for Meteorological Application for Development. It has been created by UNECA following the drought occurred in the uh, 85. And uh, our mission or mandate is to become the Continental Weather and Climate Watch Center. Uh, for information, ACMAD has been designated by World Meteorological Organization as a regional climate center with the mandate of the whole continent. In 2015, it was after two years of demonstration. And uh, for only now, we have ACMAD and also ICPAC for Eastern Africa. But other, other centers of Africa, they are in demonstration, it has to be represented by WMO. So in 2022, with the support for UNDRR, we Ahmad established the Continental Media Advisory Center, which we, we are more contributing within AMOAS program, what uh, Dr. Marco said about yesterday. So ACMAT stand at continental level, as I said, and then we more contributing the two component of AMAWAS, the one for disaster risk knowledge, and the, the, the second one is detection, monitoring analysis, and the focusing for the hazard. And also, we do support the African Union situation of this by providing weather and the climate information to issue Continental Watch as well to produce the disaster restoration report. We do also support that center by providing cyclone tracks. For that one, we are uh, using a couple of models uh, and also uh, because of the some reliability of the data on the ground. Ahmad also contribute in the Data collection and the uh, what is leading with the support of the WMO, uh, the generating for the state of climate. That's for example for the high impact data for the state of climate for 2022. The state of climate for 2023 is uh, on uh, uh, reviewing more than that will be published soon. So our approach to we are receiving data from the ground, from the satellite, but also we rely mostly from the global centers who are generating the data so then we can process. And uh, I would like just to see that those map, also the availability for the data which has been transmitted from the ground, the synoptic station, which is uh, transmitted to the GTS and then which they global center pick. So then you can see within the colors, the blue, that's where the station transmitted around over 90%. The yellow is less. So then you can see, for example, the country like Ethiopia. In January, it was only one station transmitting for the Ethiopia, 90%. Then we go to the like February. The one was in blue. The rate of transmission was very low. And they then look for the June, the recent one. There is a couple of increasement for the data transmitted. That means if we are going to rely only for the SETA data from the global centers, where they are just capturing the in-seed data from one session, that should be challenging to get address focus of that particular country. That's the challenging, uh, most of the African climate centers are facing. And then we do also organize the effort from WMO to enhance the network, but we still, we still have challenges to improve that network. So at ACMAD level, we adopt this uh, poor man ensemble approach where we combine all the models because we cannot rely on one model. So there we have access for the RPEG, GFS, UK Met Office, ECMWF, ICON, as well as the Canadian models. And then we 
mobile audience and they do processing, come up with like uh, when to see those the different model, the agreement between of them, then we can produce different tests. So then we produce the for daily forecast. Then this one in this mainly goes to the disaster risk management to support them their activities and the humanitarian. And then also we we come up with the five uh, commit for the five coming days. Those the example uh, cases I want to share with you, like where we see in, the, in this regard for the early warning for all, whether sometimes we are overestimate or underestimate. So the impact of the hazards, so there's some challenges with, so we have to work with other partners and the stakeholders to improve that one. This for the case for what's happening in Algeria, where the, we predict four days ahead that we've been able. moderate, but the damage, the impact was very high. This one is a case for Daniel Cyclone over Libya, uh, which also was very dangerous. And also we we do some uh, uh, focus for the cyclone tracks, that's for Freddy. So we are back also to work with other regional climate centers to build what we call the African Climate Outlook Forum. This one is at monthly basis, and it's involved all regional climate centers. The one designated and the others also are involved in the process. So then we come up with the first of all to, to harmonize and to see for the coming three months what the hazard we do expect of Africa drought, or where do we do expect deficit of rainfall or enhanced rainfall. For example, that phase is what we issued last year in August. That's where it predict there was during the El Nino phases. Then we're saying that the Eastern Africa will experience flood while the Southern part will experience drought. That was in August and uh, I should recognize that. So the effort for humanitarian will uh, even say that the NGOs or uh, Red Cross are in advance than the government because after in August, I first started mobilizing resources for anticipatory actions. So for the continental purpose, we have also set up a couple of the interface platform, uh, mainly Gira Health, Water, and uh, Agriculture. For water, we have come up with the uh, the term of reference, the also the which combined also we discuss with the water organs or remanded water resource management bodies of Africa, when we come up with, we we'll understand their needs, especially in terms of product to the services, so then we can generate. So those, now we are in the phase to operationalize that user interface platform. So we have like a Nile Basin, we communicate with a Niger Basin, uh, Lake Chad, and the other other organization related to water, so to understand data and then see how can we collaborate in terms of producing some information. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much.